Hello, darling. My name is Jen. Welcome to my beautiful, big little world of cruelty-free beauty. So here on my channel, I do makeup reviews, skincare tips, hauls, tutorials, and more. And more importantly, on today's video, I am going to be reviewing this brand new one size turn up the base powder foundation by Patrick Starr. And be sure to stick around because I have extremely dry skin. I have not seen a single review of this foundation on dry skin. Um, so I'm pretty curious to see how it wears on this crusty, rusty face. <laughs> Um, okay. Most importantly, of course, the, obviously the most important thing is it's vegan and cruelty free. I'm just kidding. It's not the most important thing. Well, to me it is, but not to everyone else. It's vegan and cruelty free. And if you want to hang out with me all the time, then be sure to subscribe. Stay. Don't go. Don't leave. We shall waste no time. I am seriously so excited. This is my first ever, ever powder foundation. We are going to be trying the Turn Up The Face Powder Foundation. This was formulated by makeup artist, beauty influencer, and founder of One Size Beauty, the one and only Patrick Starr. So this powder is supposed to be extremely finely milled. So it's supposed to go on really nice and smooth. It's supposed to be very blendable. It is supposed to control shine, which I don't have. I have dry skin, so that's why I'm very interested to see how this wears. It is extremely long wearing. Um, the claims say that it is supposed to wear for 12 hours, so we shall see about that. It is supposed to blur the complexion and get rid of all your redness and all the stuff and junk going on in your face. Now, it does have a soft focus matte finish, so I usually don't do mattes. Yay, they make me nervous but I had to try this foundation. Um, and honestly, I haven't seen any reviews, any reviews of it on like super dry skin. So I'm extremely excited. So if you have dry skin, you are certainly in the right place. So this Turn Up The Base foundation is available in 32 shades. It is also multi-purpose, which is amazing because it's able to be used not just as a foundation, but it can also be used as a light powder to blot and absorb excess oil. And it is also supposed to minimize pores and texture. And the fact that it lasts 12 hours, it would be awesome if it really can hold up to all of these claims. Aren't those the most satisfying ever? Okay, I just, it already has fingerprints. I'm gonna be constantly, eh. it's so gorgeous, but I hate fingerprints. But I do like that you can open it like this, especially like if you have long nails, it just makes it so easy. You're not gonna mess up your nails. It's, it's a really beautiful component. It's nice and heavy, like it looks luxurious. It doesn't look cheap. It does retail for $33. I got this on the Sephora website, but you can also get it through um, Patrick Starr's website or the One Size website. And I believe when you go onto the website, you can subscribe to like their email list and get 15% off. So nice little perk if you do want to try it and get a little bit of a discount. So I don't know if you heard um, or if you saw Patrick's video when he did release his foundation, but he went over how to apply and how to wear it. So for a light coverage, you are supposed to put a primer, then your concealer, concealer set your concealer and then you just can take like a brush put some of the foundation on and go about your day for a very light sheer coverage so I do actually want to try something a little bit different I kind of want to go like in between the two the two um extremes I don't want like a very sheer light coverage I don't want super full coverage I want to kind of go somewhere in the medium range and just try something a little bit different. I, um, I have been dying to try this product, Milani Glow Hydrating Skin Tint. This is the shade 110 Fair to Light. I, I will say like hydrating skin tints usually do really well on my skin as primers. And generally I will use them as a primer, like as a base, and then put like a fuller or medium coverage foundation to get more coverage and just to sort of even out my texture and my blemishes and, and you know, whatever I'm trying to cover up. Not sure how much to put, so I just put like that much. I'm just gonna kind of dab it. This is probably like totally a product that you had to use your hands. 
I might actually try because I'm getting like almost nothing on my face now. I'm actually going to put a little bit more on like, like just with my hands because I'm <laughs> I'm pretty sure I wasn't supposed to do that. It just like, it just immediately sheared out. Like, and it just looked like I didn't have anything on my face at all. So. It is super luminous and dewy, and I actually feel like it did cover. I've got like really bad um, hyperpigmentation over here and over here, and it obviously did not cover it 100%, but it did help a little bit. And I just feel like it had very, uh, like a very blurring effect, and my pores just look smaller. So, yeah, um, I really like this actually. So, hopefully, if the powder is too drying, this will significantly help. I mean, one can hope, right? Hey, girl can dream. The next thing Patrick advises is, I mean, obviously you're gonna put all your liquids, your creams down first because you don't wanna put powder and then any liquid. So any kind of liquid, cream, whatever needs to go down before you do your powder. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna conceal. So I'm actually going to use two different concealers. Um, this is my e.l.f. Brightening Concealer and it actually, this is like the neutral shade, which is a little bit too yellowish, it's almost like orangey, um, but it oddly color cracks my under eyes a little bit. So I like to use a tiny, tiny bit under my under eyes, and then I'm going to use the Tarte Shape Tape Ultra Creamy Concealer. This is like my favorite. This is the mini. Yes, it's a little baby. Um, and I do actually have a review on this on my channel. I will go ahead and link it. Um, it's just a quick one. It's like, you know, one of the shorts, but this is like my all time favorite concealer. I'm obsessed with it. So I'm going to go ahead and conceal the rest of my face with that before we go ahead and jump into the powder. So I feel like, you know, if you use um, like a skin tint or a um, tinted moisturizer or, you know, whatever you choose to use under, and then you conceal, um, and if you are someone who loves full coverage, and I'm, you know, I'm, I don't know, I haven't tried this foundation yet, obviously, but I feel like you're giving yourself the coverage that you want beforehand. So, you know, personally, Personally, I don't like heavy powder, so I feel like doing this is a great way to, you know, get your coverage and not have to cake powder on your face in order to get the coverage that you are looking for. Okay, I'm happy with that. So the last thing that we have to do is set all of our cream products down. I'm actually going to use my Bare Minerals Hydrating Mineral Veil. I'm gonna put a little bit of that, just, um, well, pretty much all over because I concealed like all over the place, but I'm only gonna use a tiny, tiny bit, and then we're gonna go in with the foundation. Patrick does says to, does, he does say to set everything on your face down before you move on to the foundation. Oh my god, it comes out so fast. Oh my god. What are you doing? You're killing me here. No! Okay. Alright, it's time for the big part. You guys ready? I'm scared. I'm excited and I'm scared. So many feelings all at the same time. I have a little like puff thing. It is a little bit stained. It is not dirty. Um, like I said, I do not have one. You can buy one from one size, but they're like 15 bucks. So 
So like a lot that picks up on it. Oh, wow, you see that? It's like not blending though. It's like not moving. What? Okay, I'm going in with a dense brush. Oh my God, this has to work. Something, something, help me. There we go, okay. Okay, you guys, <laughs> that was so weird. It must just be that kind of thing, that kind of puff. I feel like I just rubbed everything off. So for me personally, I found a dense, dense foundation brush to be the best way to go. I think that the little makeup puff that I have, it's like silicone and I think um, that's probably not the correct material. <laughs> So I just don't feel like I'm really getting a lot of coverage. All right. So I'm just going to kind of keep blending with this Morphe foundation brush. Yeah, so this is the um, Morphe M439. This is such an incredible foundation brush. It is just like so dense. I wasn't sure if it would work for powder, but, um, I mean, I definitely can, I feel like I'm getting coverage and I don't feel like I'm getting cakey and it's very interesting. It looks extremely light in the pan. Watch like when I first put it on my face, it looks like, if you can see, it almost has like a very orangey tint to it. You see that? It's really weird. You have to like blend that out. And then when you blend it out, it's like the perfect shade. I mean, this is like the absolute perfect shade. I found one. It's just like a little tiny one. I probably got it like in a foundation like 10 years ago and never threw it away. But let's see. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah. That picks it up way more. Oh God. Now I'm going to be like packing it on. Okay, so I'm, I'm just an idiot. I was just using the wrong material. I was using like silicone, wow. I just didn't even realize I had this. So yeah, see that? Now I'm getting the coverage. It's weird, it almost, it almost looks like it could be even maybe a little too dark and I, I am pretty sure this was the lightest shade, or maybe there was one one lighter than this. So I'm just gonna pick up that Eco Tools brush again, and I'm just gonna sort of blend it and buff it a little bit, just to kind of make sure everything, like just very very gently, just to make sure everything is blended. Just because it's a lot of powder, I don't want any, you know, powder sitting like on top of my skin. Um, I just want to make sure it's all buffed in. So this is my Charlotte Tilbury. And then this is um, the mini Shape Tape Glow Powder um, in the shade Starlet. So I picked this up when I got my Shark shart Tape. Oh my God, I literally say Shark Tape Tape at Tart Shape Tape. I cannot say those words together. Um, mother of God. Um, I picked this up when I got that. This is like what it looks like. It's like super glowy. So I kind of put it, you know, where I want to like highlight it. It is freaking gorgeous. Like I've been setting my face with it and it oh, obsessed, obsessed. It's like one of my new favorite products. Oh my God. It is freaking amazing. So yeah, just, oh my God. So I just use like kind of a small brush, smaller brush, and it is extreme. Like you literally just, and you get so much product. It's crazy. So 
So I'm just going to do like my, um, like my cheeks and my forehead, just, you know, areas that I want, because it is, it, it is like a glowier. It's not like sparkly or like, it doesn't, you couldn't even wear it as like a highlighter. Uh, it just has this like gorgeous, luminous, glowy effect. I don't know if you'll be able to see it on camera. Can you see it? I don't know if you can, but <laughs> I hope you guys just get it. Oh my God. I'm telling you, especially if you have dry skin, holy crap. It's, it's, it's the best powder like I've seriously ever freaking tried like for setting my face, like literally ever. I am obsessed, especially like in areas where you tend to crease like the under eye. Oh my God. And then I'm going to use a tiny bit of my Charlotte Tilbury to just sort of set the rest of my face. <sighs> All right. And then I'm going to use my um, It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better Setting Spray with Skin Loving Hyaluronic. I, I never can never say that dang word. Go, this thing. This one. This one. I love this one. This is the initial application. Oh my God, I'm still. All right, here's initial application, you guys. Oh my God. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Oh my God, fingers crossed that it stays like this. I'm gonna finish my makeup and go about my day and I'm gonna check in with y'all in a few hours and <laughs> please let this one stick. This is amazing. This is my favorite foundation I have tried in a long time. Just, okay. I will see you in a few hours. So don't you leave, don't you leave me now. You have made it this far. You cannot leave before the best part. I'll see you soon. So I'm back and it has actually been about 10 hours. Um, I was just gonna make this a check-in and go another couple hours, but I don't think I need to, and I'm tired. I am in love with this foundation. I am like mind blown. I don't know that I've ever been this impressed with the new foundation. I was certain that because I had such dry skin, I just like couldn't pull off powder foundation. Look at this. Look at this. Now, I will say it did wear off, you know, a little bit down here um, and a little bit on my nose. I actually did touch up my nose a tiny bit. It had almost completely worn off and it's almost kind of worn off again. I did touch up my nose like once. I just blotted it a little bit. Um, but other than that, like I... <sighs> I did not expect this. I highly, highly recommend this foundation. I mean, especially if you have dry skin, like it feels like you have nothing. It is so comfortable and it, I like really don't like my skin and I feel like I have plenty of coverage, especially if you put like a skin tint or um, like a tinted moisturizer, or BB cream or CC cream underneath, I think you'll be fine. Highly highly recommend this foundation. This is probably going to be my new like everyday routine. And now I'm going to try more powder foundations. Like if anyone has any recommendations, please leave them below. I've been thinking about bare minerals. So, um, yeah, let me know if anyone wants to see that or if anyone has any recommendations, like this is a whole new world. I just feel like I just, I just came into new lands. Okay. Go get you. So go get this for yourself. Like do it. Oh my God incredible 10 hours like mind blown anyway thank you so so much for being here with me today i really appreciate it don't forget to give this video a like a likes up a few thumbs this video yeah i'll see you in the next video bye